So welcome to the second tutorial in the Phone Gap and Ratchet series. In this video we're going to be just be uh, continuing where we left off really. Um, and we'll be looking at some basic elements uh, that come with Ratchet. So in the last video we left off here with just this folder structure which we had extracted from the Ratchet website. And you just want to open it up and go into the DIST, the distribution folder. And this is what we actually need. This is what we're going to uh, be looking at. So in here I've got my CSS folder with a bunch of CSS files, we'll come to those in a bit. Uh, fonts for the icons and also the JavaScript. So the uh, the text editor I'm going to be using for this is going to be brackets. Um, I've tried a couple, Notepad++, brackets and Sublime Text. Brackets had an update since I last used it, so I thought I might try and use that again and see if I like it. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to just pull up brackets here. And what you're going to want to do is just open a folder and you'll want to just find that Ratchet folder that we had before. Just open it up and go into the distribution folder again and just go select folder and that loads in our folder. So first what you're going to want to do is just create a new file in here and call it index.html. Often I just use .htm rather than HTML but the issue here is that PhoneGap won't recognize .htm uh, only .html so just bear that in mind. And obviously it has to be indexed to reference it as the home page. So when we've got that opened up, uh, we can put in our basic tags, our doc type, and our HTML. I'm probably just going to speed through this. Okay, so what I've just done is put the basic code in here. So uh, we're just declaring our doc type. HTML head tags, title tag, should be familiar with that. Uh, here is our viewport meta, and this just basically, what this does here is it stops the user from scrolling, because this is a native app, you don't want them scrolling like pinch to zoom or anything, you just want it to be a fixed size. So that's what this does right here. Um, importing our CSS file, so that is the ratchet.min.css, this is the minified version, um, it's not really good for editing or anything, but for the moment we'll be using this. Opening body tag obviously, and then inside the body here, we've got a script tag which con contains the uh, ratchet.min.js, that is the JavaScript file. And I'm putting this at the bottom of the body just for performance purposes. Although it's not particularly necessary when, when we're doing app development, but we can put it there anyway. So what we're going to do is just create a basic element which is going to be uh, the header tag. And inside of this is going to be a header 1. So, and then inside here what we can do is just put our title, so my first app. And we also want to add a class to this, and so that's a title, and a class to the header tag, and call this bar, and then bar-nav. So what this is, basically a header, so this is an element with a header, and it's got the classes of bar and bar-nav, and this is just for the styling and everything. And then the same here, but with a header 1, and title, and that's just for more styling as well. And this is just the text that you want it to display. So what I'm going to do is save this and live preview it. If you're not using brackets, what I would suggest is you get Chrome if you're not already using it. Because what we can do in Chrome is, oh, wrong button, uh, press F12. And you see how it's brought me into this emulation. Now to get the emulation, what you would do is just bring up the, uh, the developer tools with F12. And then what you want to do is just press escape. And that will bring up this little box down here. And just drag that up. Emulation. And you can just press emulate on the device you want. So in my, in my case, I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Press emulate. And that will emulate things like the screen resolution, the uh, page tap, the page clicking, and all of that. So yeah, that's really useful. So what I'm going to do is just drag that down. And this is the emulation. So it also emulates the way scrolling works. So dragging up will scroll down rather than just uh, dragging here. So that is pretty much what our app looks like at the moment. So let's see what happens when we try and put this into an actual physical app onto an Android device. So what you want to do is just open up the folder where you've got all your files and just select all the files and if you have WinRail or something like that then what you can just do is go add to archive and create a zip folder out of it or a zip file and it'll create that or you can do it manually uh, just through Windows Explorer if you want to but it's just easier and then head over to the uh, build.phonegap.com website 
and under the private tab just press upload a zip folder and then navigate to the directory where you saved that zip folder. So just open the zip folder and that will upload it and it doesn't take too long, it's only a small file. Okay so that's giving us all the description and everything so I'm going to call it my first app and you can add a proper description but I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, in the future we won't have to do this because at the moment we're not using a proper config.xml file which we should really be using but just for testing we're not going to use it. Uh, as you see over here it's telling you to use one. We're going to get into this uh, probably in a later video but for now we not going to uh, worry about it because we can still test it properly so just press ready to build and that is going to build you all the versions that it can. So as you can see right here it's got iOS, Android, Windows Phone uh, and a couple of others but the only, f the only successful ones are Android and Windows Phone. This is because if you click on them uh, if you click into this and you got iOS the error is you need a sign-in key uh, for the HP one um, phone gap not supported. There's a couple of different errors but for iOS it's that you need a sign-in key and to be ab able to obtain a sign-in key the proper way to do it is for a Mac, but I've been researching and there are in fact ways to do it through Windows. And I'll look into those myself, but yeah, for now I'm just going to say try and stick with Android uh, if possible. Also, in, in order to create a sign-in key, I believe you'll need the uh, Apple Developer Program, which is something like $99 a year or something, so you'll have to invest in that as well. So I'm going to stick with Android because that can be tested completely free. Uh, you don't need any keys or anything. You only need those when you want to publish to the Play Store. And that's fairly simple. So this generates an APK download for us. All what we do have here is a barcode, a QR code. So I'm going to go down that option. And I'm going to switch to my phone right now. So we can see how that works. So you just want to open up a QR code reader. So in my case I'm just using an app called QR Code Reader. And just anything will work really. And just scan the QR code and that will give you the URL so I press OK and I'll open that in the browser and that gives me the download at the bottom so I'm just going to press OK and that's starting the download and that's now complete so when you look at the permissions of this you'll notice that it wants pretty much every single permission and it doesn't need things like recording audio and location it doesn't need anything really it's just it's just a header bar really so just press install and installed so open up and there is our app uh, just saying my first app and you'll notice it's not pitched to zoomable or anything like that and yeah all working so I'm going to leave it there for this video and in the next video we'll look at doing some more advanced uh, elements and things I'll probably get into the config.xml as well to make your life a bit easier so thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video